Welcome back guys. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at 10.1 angles in all four quadrants. 10.1 represents chapter 10, section 1 of the Pearson A-Level Maths, Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Over here, we have a special diagram called the cast diagram. C-A-S-T. In that order, creating cast. In this quadrant, cosine is positive, sine and tan is negative. In this quadrant, all is positive. So sine, cos, and tan is positive. In this quadrant, sine is positive, cosine, and tan is negative. And in this quadrant, tan is positive, sine, and cosine are negative. Angles are always measured from the positive x-axis, so zero degrees starting over here. If we go anti-clockwise, we are measuring positive angles. If we go clockwise, we are measuring negative angles. So let's start off with anti-clockwise. We've got 90, 180, 270, 360. Moving on to clockwise, we've got minus 90, minus 180, minus 270, minus 360. I've drawn the cast diagram again over here. Okay, suppose number one, theta is acute, so theta is between 0 and 90 degrees. Number two, theta is measured with the x-axis. Okay, right. If I go all the way around until I arrive at this line, that angle, as you can see, is just theta. If I go all the way around until I arrive at this line, you can see that this particular angle will be 180 take away theta, as you can see here. Right, if I go all the way around until I arrive at this line, you can see that this angle here is calculated by taking 180 and adding theta, as you can see here. And then finally, if I go all the way around over here, so that angle there is calculated by taking 360 minus theta, as labeled over here. Let's start off with this section over here. 180 minus theta. So, sine of 180 minus theta is positive sine theta because in this quadrant, sine is positive. Cosine of 180 degrees minus theta is minus cos theta because in this quadrant, cosine is negative. And in the same way, tan of 180 degrees minus theta is minus tan theta because in this quadrant, tan is negative. Okay, let's move on to 180 degrees plus theta. As you can see, sine of 180 degrees plus theta is minus sine theta because in this quadrant, sine is negative. Cosine of 180 degrees plus theta is minus cos theta because in this quadrant, cosine is negative. On the other hand, tan of 180 degrees plus theta is positive tan theta because in this quadrant, tan is positive. Moving on to the next section, 360 degrees minus theta. Sine of 360 degrees minus theta is minus sine theta because in this quadrant, sine is negative. Cosine of 360 degrees minus theta is positive cos theta because in this quadrant, cosine is positive. And finally, tan of 360 degrees minus theta is minus tan theta because in this quadrant, tan is negative. So those are the key facts of 10.1 angles in all four quadrants. I'll be implementing these key facts within examples. Let's have a look at example one. Draw diagrams to show the following angles. Marking the acute angle that OP makes with the x-axis. Part A, we've got minus 80 degrees, a negative angle. So we have to go clockwise from the positive x-axis. So minus 80 degrees will look something like this here. Okay, so that angle there is minus 80 degrees. The acute angle created with the x-axis will be the positive value of this. It will just be 80 degrees. So we've got the line O to P. Moving on to part B, we've got 200 degrees. Now we've got positive angles, so we have to go anti-clockwise from the positive x-axis. Okay, so our 200 degrees will look something like this. We've got 200 degrees going from the positive x-axis. So what we now need to do is uh, create an acute angle with the x-axis, okay? So what is that acute angle over here? Well, ladies and gents, we know that this part here is 180. So this acute angle here has to be 200 take away 180, which is 20 degrees. And here is the line O to P. Okay, moving on to part C. This time we've got 280 degrees. Okay, so what will that look like? 
ladies and gents, we have to measure the angle from the positive x-axis going anti-clockwise. So 280 degrees will look something like this here, okay? 280 degrees. Right, so what is the acute angle created with the x-axis? Well, ladies and gents, that acute angle will just be this angle here. This would be 360 take away 280, which is just 80 degrees. Finally, part D, we've got minus 160 degrees, so this time we have to go clockwise from the positive x-axis. So minus 160 degrees will look something like this here. Minus 160 degrees. So what will be the acute angle created with the x-axis? Well, ladies and gents, that part there will just be 20 degrees. All right, so this completes example one, labeling angles on a cast diagram. Moving on to example two. Express the following in terms of trigonometric ratios of acute angles. Part A, sine 240 degrees. I'm going to start by drawing 240 degrees on my cast diagram. From the positive x-axis, over here we've got zero degrees, we need to go anti-clockwise to give us 240 degrees. Okay, so 240 degrees will be somewhere here. So this is my angle, 240 degrees. The acute angle created with the x-axis, this angle here, will be 240 degrees take away 180 degrees. That there, ladies and gents, will be 60 degrees. So we have a sine 240 degrees is equal in this quadrant over here sine is negative so it will be minus sine of 60 degrees okay so that is our objective we have to express each of these trigonometric ratios in terms of trigonometric ratio of an acute angle okay so that sine 240 is minus sine 60. moving on to part b cosine of minus 200 degrees Okay, so now we've got a negative angle starting from the positive x-axis, 0 degrees. We have to go clockwise to give us minus 200 degrees. So the angle would be somewhere over here. Okay, so we've got minus 200 degrees. The acute angle created with the x-axis, this angle here, will be 20 degrees. So now... Cosine of minus 200 degrees will equal, in this quadrant, cosine is negative, so it will be minus cos of 20 degrees. So as a trigonometric ratio of an acute angle, cos of minus 200 degrees will be minus cos 20 degrees. That 20 degrees, as you can see, is acute. Moving on to part C. Tan of minus 175 degrees, so I'm going to start by drawing minus 175 degrees. So starting from the positive x-axis at 0 degrees, we need to go clockwise and draw minus 175 degrees. So my angle would be somewhere over here. Okay, so that there represents minus 175 degrees. So the acute angle created with the x-axis will have to be 5 degrees. Okay, so now we've got tan of minus 175 degrees is equal. In this quadrant, tan is positive, so it will be tan, or you could say positive tan, of 5 degrees. So as a trigonometric ratio of an acute angle, Tan of minus 175 degrees is tan of 5 degrees. So that there completes example 2 and this teaching video 10.1 angles in all four quadrants. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.